everyone so today I'm going to be showing you my morning skincare routine and I think this is very important because before applying any makeup you should always have a prepped face and I'm not just talking about like oh yeah you should apply primer like you should have your skin be clean and exfoliated and definitely moisturized and just protected from anything you may be doing throughout the day so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah i mean i do love makeup so much however um if i had to choose between either like skincare or makeup it will always be skincare because makeup to me it kind of like covers up any like flaws you may have or anything that may have to do with your skin so instead of covering it up why not just actually work on it by working on your skincare routine so yeah let's get started so to start off um when i do wake up in the morning i basically i don't have any dirty skin or anything essentially because i take my makeup off and i wash my face every night so i mean my skin's like probably just a little greasy but that's it um, so basically to diminish that, I'll use my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and this is a great cleanser because like I said, I don't really have any like gunk on my face or anything. So all I really need is something that's super light and kind of just takes away the extra like oil and grime that's built up during the night. So. I think this is great and it's super sensitive on my skin as well so I'm like so for this. I don't know if I've used anything as good as this that is so like milky. I find with most milky cleansers uh, they kind of feel like this thick film on my face that's not necessarily like cleaning it at all. Um, this one, however, it turns into like this jelly consistency and it totally does not feel like thick or oily or greasy or anything and after I use it my skin just feels super clean so I definitely like this one. Um, and then after that, if I'm exfoliating that day, I will use my Biore Baking Soda Cleansing Scrub and basically it's just like this powder and you put some into your hand, you activate it with water, and basically you just exfoliate your skin and that is it. And yeah, I mean, for some reason, when it comes to like deep cleaning, Biore is the only brand that's ever worked for me. Like in my nighttime routine, you'll see like, I'll talk about like their charcoal wash or whatever. And I don't know, I've tried so many different brands like drugstore, high-end, even like recommended by my dermatologist and nothing has worked like Biore has, but whatever. Well, that's that. So on to lips. Uh, basically I do this before I do anything else because I find that if I wait to do my entire skincare routine and then do my lips, they just automatically like become as dry as they possibly can like as soon as I brush my teeth so I try to do this um, as soon as I can essentially uh, but first I'll exfoliate my lips and I use Lush's mint juleps lip scrub and looks like this it's pretty cool um, what's great about this is that it's light in a sense where it doesn't have a lot of grease or oils in it um, it really just exfoliates your lips and then you're done after that but well, that is that and then to moisturize I use Glossier's Balm.com which I honestly got like a few days ago for the first time and I have already like put three people onto it and I am in love with this thing like I don't think I've used a lip salve lip balm whatever you want to call it as good as this in my life like I put it on once and all the lines in my lips are completely diminished and 
I don't have to reapply for like hours. Which to I me, think. honestly, is insane because I always have dry lips. I mean, I'll just take this onto my ring finger, like put it on my lips and then whatever's left over, I'll just put like around my knuckles or like on my cuticles, really wherever uh, I get dry. So moving on to toner, I use the Origins United State Balancing Tonic. And what's great about this is that it has rice bran extract in it. So it does basically just take away like any oils that may be just like extra on my skin. However, it leaves enough to still not my, not have my skin be like completely stripped. Um, and it's, that's great for me definitely because I have like combination oily skin. So I do want to like kind of minimize the oil in my T-zones, but I still want to leave some moisture on my cheeks. And I feel that with this toner totally happens. So definitely good and I mean I'm almost out of it but I bought this like six months ago and I use it every single day two times a day so this stuff will last you a very long time on to serums I actually have two that I like I guess switch between um and sometimes I even use it like on the same day which I'm not sure how good that is for you but whatever right <laughs> anyways serum one so this is murad's rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum and has 2.0 hydroquinone skin lightener and i mean yes why do i need an anti-aging serum i don't use it for the anti-aging uh i guess aspects uh, I use it more for the spot correctiveness because I do have a lot of acne scars from when I did get acne. And yeah, I remember I used it like the first month and basically I just had so many scars right around my nose area, like on the apples of my cheeks, on my forehead, and then on my jawline. And I used this for about a month. and everything well not everything but like almost everything just went away and it was kind of surreal to me because it was like those oh yeah this will totally get rid of all your acne in like a matter of weeks and it never does but this did so it's amazing the next serum i use is keel's daily reviving concentrate and this is great because it's like full of vitamin C. So, I mean, vitamin C just is good for your skin. It's good for not necessarily anti-aging, but preventing the aging process as it just keeps your skin like nice and fresh and moisturized. So it's pretty good, definitely. So after my serums, I kind of just let it sit for like a minute or so. Um, but then after it settles in, I use my moisturizer and this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It kind of feels like a combination of a gel moisturizer and a cream moisturizer. So it makes it super light and not too like heavy or oily looking for every day. And yeah, it'll definitely last you all day. Like you won't, I don't necessarily uh, find myself having to use like face mist or anything. Um, it's pretty good at moisturizing skin. So definitely check it out. And it's great for really all skin types. I mean, since it's so light, I guess like you would be able to wear it on oilier skin, just like use it sparingly. Um, but it is still very moisturizing, so of course, dry skin people, I think this would work well for you. So next is eye cream, and this also is kind of like a gel cream consistency. It's the Laneige Perfect Renew Firming Eye Cream, and this is actually a Korean brand, but I picked it up at Target, honestly though. This stuff is like just super, super, super moisturizing and it's light as well, which I 
appreciate because of the fact that like so many eye creams are just so heavy and I find that when I try to apply them they kind of drag as well. I don't have that problem with this eye cream at all and um, I mean it totally does a good job at taking away my puffiness and like really just retaining moisture in my eyes. So good job, definitely. On to the last step, unfortunately. Not really. Thank God I don't have any more steps like I use so much, but whatever. This is what works for me, so that's that. I use the La Roche Posay uh, Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid, and this is the SPF 60. Um, I wear this absolutely every single day. I mean, SPF is just so important for you. Like, it prevents like skin damage from the sun, I mean skin cancer, hopefully, um, dark spots, discoloration, like all of those things, it just becomes diminished by simply applying one thing on your face every day. That's it. That's all you have to do. Like, hello. It's really just another step in your skincare routine. You've already cleansed, toned, Put serums on, moisturizers, eye cream, why not simply just do this? Like, I don't understand what the problem is about people not wearing sunscreen. To put just one sunscreen on afterwards is really nothing. I mean, it's just one more step. It's like one more minute of my time and that one minute gives me safe and protected skin for most of the day so I don't see why I shouldn't and I don't see why anyone else shouldn't either because I mean it's just always better to be safe I think and it also definitely helps with anti-aging so if you're looking for something in that department definitely put sunscreen on but yeah um, that is my skincare routine for the morning, and it does definitely seem like a lot, however, um, they all just work together so well that my skin never feels, like, way too gunky or just as if I have, like, too much product on my face and, like, it doesn't clog my pores or anything, so I definitely, um, am good with this setup. The only advice that I can give you, um, and of course I do love these products, I mean I've been searching basically for them for years and I finally just found something that works with my skin, um, but yeah, the only advice I really can give to you if you found something that works for your skin as well is to be consistent because I notice that when I do slack off and if I don't take my makeup off at the end of the day and if I only, you know, like use one part of my routine as opposed to using all of it, my skin starts reacting. So definitely just be consistent and it's like maybe 15 minutes more in your day at most. So why not? Just do it. But yeah. That's basically that. Uh, I will post a nighttime skin routine, which will include like masks and stuff, um, and then like more thicker moisturizing, uh, I guess, creams and serums. But yeah, if you liked my video, definitely like, comment, uh, subscribe, most definitely, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both at Izzy Sarge. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you next time.